What's up guys, I'm back for another collection video and I'm very, very excited to be doing this one. Um, so, we finally have the English release of Fate Extella under the title of Fate Extella The Umbral Star. So, um, yesterday was the launch date. Uh, Amazon failed to get my copy of the Noble Phantasm Edition here on time, so I'm doing the video today instead. And what I really wanted to do for this was do a comparison between the Japanese uh, Regalia box and the English Noble Phantasm Edition. So, I wanted to show off everything this version had because uh, this version came out when my camera was gone before I had ever actually uh, gotten a replacement for it. So I never got to do a proper unboxing for it when it came out. And then this one, like I said, just came out yesterday, so we'll be able to do that live right now. So, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open the re uh, Regalia box and we're going to show the contents inside. So a lot of Japanese games and Japanese media has this slip cover that goes over it. You can just simply peel it off, it's adhesive, and you can actually reseal it pretty easily. Most um, music albums and even games have it. So I decided to put the Regalia box back in here for this. Um, there was another limited edition for Fate Extella in Japan that was a, that had the Vita version and PS4 version combined. Um, this is the Vita Regalia box. That one had both games, Plus um, another, I'll probably see if I can try, uh, try to find a picture of the art that was on the box. But it has Attila on the box art, and um, it included a mouse pad with Nero in the bride outfit. So I uh, obviously gave that one the aptly nickname of the Nero's Tits Edition, um, because that's literally what it is. So we're going to go ahead and open this. Also, it, downloadable is the, uh, you have to have a Japanese PSN account to download this. But there's an awesome outfit for Gilgamesh, uh, which is a... Imperial Japan um, naval officer uniform, or as we dubbed that, the Nazi Gill outfit. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. It's there's not a whole lot of contents inside. Um, the biggest thing you get in here, you get the game itself, which is not present. It's elsewhere, and you get the um, the art material. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up really quick. It's in this very nice shiny slip cover, very similar to the Apocrypha art material and the Grand Order art material. And it, it reads um, right to left like uh, manga does or any kind of Jap kind of Japanese book. So what I want to do with this is actually compare this to the English version we're going to get and see if they made any any changes. I can definitely tell by the size of the Noble Phantasm Edition that it's probably printed a little bit smaller because, as you can see, the um, art material from the Regalia box is a little bit bigger. So here is the game case itself for the Japanese Vita version. Uh, it's worth mentioning that the uh both the english and japanese versions have a manual which is very rare uh, for modern days uh, and it's also very rare for a vita game to have a manual period so that's very nice um, this is a, a dlc uh, code for two alternate outfits it's the <clears throat> red and blue dresses for nero and artoria respectively and it's worth pointing out as well that the the actual uh card the cartridge for the regalia box is unique. It actually says Regalia Box on it and it has a pink uh, background. So that will that will not be what your cartridge for your American Vita version of Excel will look like. So now that that's out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and open the Noble Phantasm Edition. So I really do have to say that this is one of the nicest limited editions I have uh, for the Vita. It might be actually the uh, this or compared to the Vita. It's the same one if you have the Vita. Though this is the PS4 edition. Um, this is nicer than mostly all the limited editions I got for the Vita last year because instead of just having a silly cardboard box, it's actually like a hard plastic box uh, that has very uh, shiny foil across all of it. It's just they really went all out with this, and I'm very surprised because I didn't think that this game of all games would get this kind of attention, but um, credit to Xseed for the localization because they really went all out to make this version um, of the highest quality. So the first thing we have here is the fabric poster, which is very similar to the Final Fantasy XIV and Dragon Quest Heroes ones I have hanging in my room. And this will have a place right beside those. I especially love the uh, the Dragon Quest Heroes one that I have because that was like a GameStop exclusive or whatever. This is not quite as big as those. Um, but I don't have to frame it and I can hang it from the ceiling technically, which is really nice. It's blank on the back and it has the image that you see when you start up the game, which is also the uh, pr profile picture for the Let's Play page right now. So that's really nice. And then the other thing... 
And as you can see, a lot of this stuff was not in, even included in the Japanese version. It's brand new stuff. So then next we have actually a stack of cards, which are for each servant. And if I can carefully open this without slicing any of the cards themselves. From what I understand, these are like a hard plastic and they are semi-translucent, which is really nice. I would have liked these to have a lot of heavy foil as well, but beggars can't be choosers. At least I know they won't show fingerprints easily. So that is really, really nice. You can all, you can already kind of see the, the translucency uh, with the light shining through at the back. And it has every servant in the game not in order, not in specifically in order of their introduction, but close enough. Very nice, very very nice. And I, on the back, it sort of uh, shows the opaque um, silhouette of the servant. So not bad. It's sort of like tarot cards, which they always say it's bad luck to buy your own tarot cards. So I guess I messed up with that. And then here's the. Um, the game itself, which, like I said, has a manual inside. I'm not going to open that right this second, but you can definitely see the uh, comparison between the, the the Japanese and English. They didn't alter the artwork in any way. Um, the back is slightly different. Includes more characters on the PS4 version. It shows the uh, Nero's regalia form there. So then, if we can dive into the deepest parts of this box, I think this whole cardboard section just comes out. Oh, a little packing peanut things. We can look at the art material for the English version, which reads uh, left to right, obviously. So all of this is translated. It's actually the exact same uh, information that is in the Japanese version, which is really nice when it comes to you know interviews and director's notes, things like that. So I really do like this. I think hopefully we'll have the same imagery as we go. Looks like everything is the same. I was curious if they had like censored anything or uh, took in any images out, but it looks like it's all there and present. There's a particular page I'm looking for to see if it's still in there. I don't know if I passed it already. Nope, still there, okay. Great. Yeah, Ryder was definitely the most provocatively drawn character in there, so I wanted to make sure that she was her uh, she was still intact. Overall, I do have to say I like the Japanese art material better because it is it, this is a hardback, which is nice. The English version, but like I said, this one is printed bigger. It's printed with a nice foil um, on the front, and uh, it's just it's printed bigger and in better quality. So. But it is nice to see we got another, this is like the first time we've had an art material directly uh, translated into English since like the first Fates Day Night one. None of the other ones ever got localized, so that's actually pretty nice. Um, but for those of you that collect the, the Type Moon art materials like I do, that's definitely a nice addition. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you have not already picked up Fate Extella on the Vita or on the PS4, it's also available um, through uh, games on demand, like direct download it, it's cheaper that way. Um, or if you wanted to seek out the Japanese version, I would still recommend the Regalia box just the same.